Morning all. It's uh, day nine. I'm here in Guangzhou. It's um, it's a massive city. I'm right in the heart of it. My hotel's just around, like, over here somewhere. I've got a big day of plans. I'm heading out with one of um, my fellow Kiwi. He actually lives in the city. Uh, he's been here for a while, and he helps people source uh, source pretty much anything. So uh, I'm going to be meeting up with him, he's going to take me around to a few factories and um, yeah, we're just going to hang out. I'm here in Guangzhou uh, with the bro Timmy, he, uh, he lives here, he's been here for like uh, for four years, um, he sources uh, pretty much any product for anyone that wants um, something from China. So that's his, uh, that's his job. So I picked up the bro today at the Bayoun Hotel, which is a four star, which is pretty good. And um, I'm heading out to uh, factory inspection, so it's good for the bro to come along and get eyes on. Uh, then later on, we're gonna head into the local markets where you can get all that quality branded stuff. They say it's fake, but let me tell you, some of the stuff that we see is better than the original. You see, in, in, in business, you find a lot of people that are interested, but they're not really interested. Yeah. So when I'm dealing with companies and businesses, it's important that they commit financially for my service. Otherwise, I'm just running around working for nothing. And in China, there's no social welfare system. There is no back-end or backdrop support. You've got to really get into business. I'm not the only one that operates this way. So when a client gives me a sourcing fee, then my job is to deliver on value, and I know I'm dealing with somebody that really wants to do serious business out of China. Mm. Welcome to China. making sure you do all your research before you decide the supplier that you want. Background data, are they authentic, do they have the compliance, do they have a good range of product and we want a short list so that we get the best supplier. So having uh, sourcing protocols and systems and processes are important so that my clients or our clients can get the best thing for buck and that when they invest into the China supply, what they ask for they get and at the end of the day, what they're looking for is profit. Yeah. 
。你喜欢吃的到吗？<笑>没去过。<笑>加油。<笑>我问他：“你是从哪里来的？”我告诉他：“我从马来西亚来的。”嗯。然后，这样子，他是从另外一个国家来的，生活在这里，做滴滴员工。所以，我学会了如何做小聊天跟当地人。是一个很好的方法来建立关系。Yeah. So I, I to to people. It's a real good way to, to get close to someone quickly. And what tends to happen is people tend to help me more over and above the call of duty. Yeah. All good stuff, you know. Yeah. Languages, bro. Like they, they bypass all boundaries. And he said to me, "Keep, uh, keep working at learning Chinese." And、uh, he gave me some encouragement. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Check out some bags. From the uh, the, su the supplier. Oh, I, I. You can't speak English. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's right. Where are you taking us? So we're about to enter in a factory. So a client over in、uh, Australia has designed some customised backpacks.、Uh, we're targeting sports clubs like rugby league clubs for all the kids that go to their footy games. So、uh, we've designed something a little bit different, special. And we're、uh, targeting. So now we've been in production. I think got 500 bags, and we're just coming to check the production and check the quality, and get 50 of them sent、uh, sent sent away as quick as possible. Check them out. So this factory, we found them on the local platform, not on the international platform. So we not only just target、uh, like、Alibaba made in China, but there are local platforms that are here. So we use those to get into factories that are don't they don't export. Sometimes their pricing is much more competitive than Alibaba. We want to go behind, behind, behind to get to some of these places. That one. Yeah. So when we go in to see factories, a lot of their protocol is you must sit down and drink tea. And then go eat some food.、Uh, we don't fuck around with that. If we've got like four or five factories to go to, we get straight to the business, straight to the core. Skip all the tea, skip all the meals. Like I ain't got a big enough tummy to eat all that food anyway. So we're here to do business. So we go directly. So the Chinese way is you've got to do this protocol. But now they're starting to learn that sometimes we don't want to do that. We want to get straight to the business and get it on our way.、Mm. Uh, I wouldn't some, say they're pretty. Some of your everyday bags that you know we see all the time, man.、Uh, so this is a solar power panel. Really? Where you can charge your phone while you're out there camping and have a and have a solar power charge, and then you have a cord that you can hook up your、uh, phone at the that, same time. That is the go. It's actually not new. It's got、yeah. an old part. Cold water. Okay. okay. These are nice, some nice looking slick bags. Pretty much similar to some of the Billabong bags and all that sort of shit. Yeah. So we, we found this factory、um, on a local platform. And、uh, we like the fact that they could do our MOQ and they could customise to what my client wants in Australia.、Mm. That's why they got the business.、Yep. The pricing is quite quite good,、mm. and、um, they're, they're local to me. It's important because I can come out and inspect the production before we send it back over to Australia. If they're somewhere at north, it's hard to get out there and do the inspection. So I told the girl we're not interested in tea. <laughs> <laughs> Go get us the product, please. <laughs> we would like some water. And we'll check it all out. Maybe we'll have tea afterwards. But、yeah. Right now, we need to get straight into the product and see how it's going. First,、uh, first thoughts in your head, bro. First thoughts in your head that come to the mind. Ah,、uh, normal. <laughs> Just normal. <laughs> Just normal stuff. <laughs> Upstairs. Upstairs. Factory looks a bit a、uh, bit different to、uh, what I've seen so far. 
through a bag. Somebody's just inspecting a bag. Checking out the merchandise. <laughs> Making sure it's all good. It's a big pocket for the bottom, bro. Yeah, but for the dirty um, laundry, eh? Uh, and the, um, the rugby shoes, rugby boots. Okay. Right now he's um, just sewing the back and the front together. This is how all your bags are made, folks. That we were going to inspect, they weren't ready yet. And uh, out of the out of 50 bags that I'd seen, four were problems with zip up and also buckle. So when I see these issues, I, alarms go off. I go into emergency mode because if my client in Australia comes across these problems, it's bad, bad news. So we have to we have to correct everything here. And so I spent most of my time talking to the boss to make sure lay down the law he understands that if he wants future business with us he has to double inspect everything like double triple triple quadruple and then we can ship them off tomorrow so most of my time today is is mainly uh, quality control making sure that he does a good job but you know this is a good situation for me to be angry but it doesn't serve anyone any good so i just try and be patient try and work beside them we all want the same thing same goal we all want long-term business. We have clients in Australia, so we try and work together to get a result. Well. So we're finished. We're heading uh, back to the metro, and we're going to go into a local market where you can buy all the good clothing at real cheap prices. So it should be an eye-opener for the boat. a local market so all your branded all your original stuff is here so if you think about Gucci Gucci gets their stuff made here when the factory has used all the material and fulfilled the order all the leftover material they actually keep making the handbags and the wallets and then they push it push them into this local market where people come and grab it that means you're actually getting the original here like the best quality product you can still buy here the other thing is, the good thing about this market, a lot of the African or the Black Brothers come here. So you can buy things at um, one, one piece, five pieces, ten pieces. Um, you can buy from this market. The whole area, like your Adidas, your Nike, everything is here. But there's different tiers. So the factories are here, but there's probably one, two agents before it gets to you. So if you're onto it, you actually want to get behind, behind and get to the factory. But if you've got small numbers, you can still buy in this market. Okay.
been a big day. We're just trying to build a street food from the local uh, local markets. Hey, bro. I love street food, bro. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sing a song. Maybe, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapping up my day with Timmy. We had a meet. <laughs> yeah, it's a video. Yeah. I'll take a picture in a minute. Uh, we had a big day. We got, went to the factory. Let's check out the factory. We um, went to the local markets. Some local food. Show me around. Had an awesome day. Yeah, I'm pretty fun. I think I'm gonna go home and rest up. <laughs> Another day tomorrow. Another day. All happens. Another day to grind. That's it.